Oh. That's a fish. Uh, that might be a mile away. That is, uh, uh, yep, yep, I think that's a mile away, dude. Oh, that's a big fish, dude. Yeah, I've got, oh, I've got it on, don't worry. Oh. Head shakes. Oh, how good's that? Jewfish, mile away. Hey guys, it's Jordy here. So lately myself and uh, a few other people have been getting some Mulloway off the uh, wall at Wyndham Harbour. And I'm finding that I'm, uh, I'm talking to a lot of people about it, but I'm having the same conversation over and over again regarding lures and things like that. So what I wanted to do here was just make a little video uh, for everyone. And if you ask me the same questions again, I will send you this video. Um, it's more of a time saver for me, but it's more just to make sure I've got all the information in one place. Um, that way I don't miss telling anyone anything. And that way you all can uh, see what we've been using to catch these wonderful fish. Alrighty, so we've got half a dozen of the soft plastics that myself and the other blokes have been getting the Mulloway on down at the rock wall there at Wyndham Harbour. So big thanks to Zuli and also big thanks to the young guns, Joey and Nick, for uh, letting me know what plastics they've been getting their fish on as well and giving me a couple of samples here to show all of you. So we're going to go through them and I'll let you know what each one of them are. Up here is the K-Tech Wakasaji Easy Shiner 4-inch. Up next is the Berkeley Powerbait Nemesis Paddle Tail 4-inch and that is in the Breen Chart colour. Up next is the Berkeley Powerbait Nemesis 4-inch, and that is with a grab tail in the pearl white color. And the three here are, you've guessed it, Z-Man 2.5-inch Slim Swims, and they are in the Watermelon, the Midnight Oil, and Opening Night. So what I've noticed here is paddle tails seem to obviously be what put the fish or bring the fish on. I use the grub tail to get mine, so I'm the exception to the rule here with the soft plastics. However, as you can see, it's mostly paddles that are doing the trick here. As far as colors go, what I've noticed is we're getting a lot of white tones. We're getting some brown tones. And we're getting some green tones in what's getting eaten. So white, brown, green, and a little bit of silver seem to be the colors, but to be honest, I think the most important thing here is matching the size of the bait fish that are there around the marina. What you want is to make sure that your, your, your plastic is under four inches in size. Okay, so we've also got some of the jig heads here that we've been getting some of the mulloway on. So the hook size is anywhere from a 1.0 to a 2.0. And as far as the weight size, we've got 3.5, so one eighth of an ounce. We've got one sixth of an ounce, and we've also got quarter ounce. Uh, one thing that I do recommend for anyone doing this is make sure you grab the 1-0s in a heavy gauge hook. From what I can see, a lot of the 2-0s already come in quite a heavy hook wire, but the 1-0 will be a fair bit thinner. So you want to make sure that you get these in a thick, heavy wire. Just one other thing, just before I finish the video, I just want to let you guys know that while we've been getting most of our fish on soft plastics, a couple of weeks ago... We had a live 25 centimetre salmon out with a couple of 5.0 hooks and that got absolutely annihilated. Saw the fish on the surface. It was a very, very big mull away. So while we do have the 70 to 80 centimetre school fish around eating the plastics, if you do happen to catch a salmon while you're fishing for those mull away, for the love of God, put it back out there with some hooks in it. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. I just wanted, like I said, wanted to show you some of the soft plastics that we've been catching the Mulloway on as I've been getting asked these questions over and over again about the plastic types and stuff like that. And if I do send you the link for this video, please don't be offended. Like I said, this is just my way of giving you all the information as quickly as possible and in one go. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully we've got some good fishing action coming soon.